According to scientists, our planet's currently over 4.5 billion years old. And for most of this time, it was practically lifeless. Very little time has passed since the appearance of modern animals, and especially people. If we take the entire time of the Earth's existence as one year, we'll see how small this period is. In today's issue, we'll try to conduct such an experiment and clearly show how insignificant the role of humanity is in the history of the world. Subscribe to the channel Age of Dinosaurs. This will allow you to be the first to know when we release new videos, and you can leave your comments below about what you've seen before other users. We also encourage everyone to leave a like if you like it. This will help our content a lot and give other science lovers the opportunity to get acquainted with the work we do. If we imagine that the time of our planet's existence is equal to one calendar year, then each of its seconds will be equal to approximately 143 years. One hour corresponds to 518,000 years, and a day, about 12.5 million years. Imagine that before January 1st of this hypothetical year, in the place of the modern planets of the solar system, there was a cluster of rocks, gases, and cosmic dust. This cloud revolved around the already formed Sun. Gradually, planets began to form around larger fragments, and with the first second of the new year, the Earth appeared. At that time, its surface was covered with oceans of hot magma and was subjected to constant cosmic bombardment. And on January 3rd, after a collision with a large asteroid or a smaller planet, a fairly large piece broke off from the Earth, but the force of gravity didn't allow it to move away a large distance and go into free flight. This fragment gradually turned into the Moon, the only satellite of our planet. About a month later, February 4th, the surface of the planet cooled and formed a solid crust, but due to the decrease in temperature, water ceased to exist only in the form of steam. The first oceans appeared on Earth. The formation of the atmosphere also began, but inside, lava continued to rage. Eruptions and earthquakes occurred constantly. Modern inhabitants of the planet simply couldn't exist at that time. But even in such harsh conditions, the emergence of living organisms became possible. The first inhabitants of the Earth, which appeared on March 1st, were bacteria. They were single-celled and quite primitive, by April 18th, the formation of the Earth's core was finally completed. Due to its influence, the atmosphere was protected from the effects of solar radiation. Living conditions became much more comfortable. These changes especially affected the seas and oceans. And already on May 20th, the evolutionary development of single-celled organisms led to the emergence of so-called cyanobacteria, or blue-green algae. Their unique ability was to release such a gas as oxygen as a product of their vital activity. They obtained it through photosynthesis, that is, under the influence of sunlight. In the same way, carbon dioxide is converted into oxygen in the green leaves of modern plants. The spread of these new microorganisms for the planet eventually led to the first global extinction in its history. This extinction is commonly called the Huronian, after the place where its most striking traces were found. In sediments corresponding to that era, and in our conventional calendar year it was June 21st, found near Lake Huron in North America, there's evidence of a sharp reduction in oxygen in the atmosphere. In fact, cyanobacteria killed themselves. In the absence of any enemies or negative factors limiting their spread, these microorganisms captured the surfaces of all bodies of water on the planet. Uncontrolled release of oxygen led to irreversible changes in the atmosphere. Methane, which is one of the most important gases involved in the creation of the greenhouse effect, was practically displaced from it. The temperature across the planet dropped sharply. This led to its complete glaciation. Those living organisms that had not previously died from an excess of oxygen harmful to them simply froze. The same fate befell blue-green algae. The decrease in their population allowed the atmosphere to be restored, and gradually the temperature on the Earth's surface reached habitable values. In our calendar, 
The end of the Huronian glaciation can be marked on July 16. It was the longest, but not the most famous ice age in the history of the planet. On July 23rd, the first multicellular organisms appear, but another global-scale cooling leads to their rapid extinction. The period from August 9th to November 4th has received the unofficial name Boring Billion in science. During these three conventional months, several events that are essential for the evolution of living organisms occurred. But in general, the development of life moved evenly and slowly. This is explained by the low content of one of the most important gases in the atmosphere, oxygen. On August 17th, the first single-celled organisms with a nucleus appeared. They were called eukaryotes, and single-celled organisms without a nucleus are called prokaryotes. The presence of a nucleus provided a more progressive way of copying DNA during reproduction. In short, prokaryotes copied their DNA completely without any changes, and each new organism was a clone of the old one. Variability within a species was thus minimal, and in the presence of a nucleus, the DNA chain was copied in parts, and these fragments were folded into a new chain in different ways. This became a step that determined the course of further evolution of all living organisms on the planet. On October 28, a new species of living organisms appeared on the planet, mushrooms. What's noteworthy is that they originated, like all other living organisms, in the ocean. They began to develop land only on November 11th. On November 18th, creatures also appeared in the ocean that became one of the dominant animals on the planet for a long time, starting with a huge variety of sea scorpions of the Cambrian period and ending with modern spiders. All of them were maximally adapted to their living conditions. Nature has gifted arthropods with a huge number of useful adaptations for hunting and protection from dangers. After the boring billion, the rest of our conditional year turned out to be very eventful and diverse. On November 19th, early in the morning, a phenomenon called the Cambrian Explosion occurred. The seas and oceans turned out to be densely populated by a variety of different and very numerous species of living creatures. At this time, almost all types of modern living organisms, both marine and terrestrial, were born. By lunchtime of the same day, the first developed animals came out onto land and began to develop new territories for themselves. And closer to the evening of the same November 19th, the Paleozoic Era will begin. According to our conventional calendar, it'll last about three weeks and end on December 12th. At this time, many events also happened that are worth mentioning in our calendar. On November 24th, plants followed the animals onto land. First, coastal areas, and then more remote areas of land are covered with a green carpet. These plants will subsequently create the atmosphere we're accustomed to and provide our civilization with coal deposits. On November 26, another major extinction occurred. It occurred on the border of the Ordovician and Silurian geological periods. It's believed that this was the first extinction that was provoked by volcanic activity. There's evidence that two catastrophic eruptions occurred simultaneously in different parts of the planet. One of them occurred in what's now southern China, and the other in North America. According to some estimates, about 60% of all marine invertebrates were among the extinct species. On November 29, Something that's familiar to us, but unique for its time. A device known as teeth appeared. Fish were the first to use this tool. Then other species of living creatures also used it. The teeth of different animals later acquired many different and sometimes very bizarre forms. Each of their types began to be used to solve specific problems. On December 2nd, our planet suffered another large-scale catastrophe. During the so-called Devonian extinction, a huge number of species of living organisms disappeared from the face of the Earth, including all jawless ones. Before the catastrophe, living conditions were very comfortable. The water temperature in the ocean averaged about 26 degrees. There were no ice caps at the poles yet, 
The planet was covered with green forests of ferns and other primitive plants, but these plants emitted a huge amount of oxygen into the atmosphere. They were also helped in this by actively growing algae. Rotting plants and the layers of soil destroyed by them washed into the ocean and became food for various microorganisms. Their rapid development was accompanied by the extraction of oxygen from the water. Most sea animals failed to adapt to such a sharp drop in the concentration of the gas vital to them. The oceans were practically empty, and the catastrophe moved into a new phase. Another ice age occurred. After about two to three days, life was already actively restored. Animals not only repopulated the seas, but also captured the land. On December 5th, all the continents of that time completed their unification into a single supercontinent, Pangaea. December 12th became a tragic day in our conventional calendar. On this date, the Great Permian Extinction falls. It became the most massive in the history of the planet. According to some estimates, up to 96% of all marine fauna and about 73% of land vertebrates died on this day. Losses in the insect class amounted to 86%, but this same day marked the beginning of the Mesozoic Era, the Age of Dinosaurs. The first dinosaurs known to us appeared on December 13th, and after them, around December 15th, the first mammals appeared. For simplicity, it's probably safe to refer to them as mammals. One of these animals was the Morganucodon. Its body length did not exceed 12 to 13 centimeters. Most likely, it was oviparous and led a nocturnal lifestyle. This creature fed on insects. At night, it hunted on the ground or in trees, and during the day, it hid in burrows. On December 16th, Pangaea begins to split into the modern continents we now know today. At the same time, climatic and geological changes led to another mass extinction. Almost half of all animals that lived on Earth die out. It's believed that it was after this Triassic-Jurassic extinction that the total dominance of dinosaurs began. The era of dinosaurs ended only by the evening of December 27th. It's noteworthy that the most popular dinosaurs in popular culture, such as the Tyrannosaurus or Triceratops, appeared only in the middle of this day. According to the most common version, the cause of the global cataclysm that killed the dinosaurs was the fall of a huge meteorite. Its crater is located in the Gulf of Mexico, and its size is about 300 kilometers. This event ends the Mesozoic and begins the Cenozoic era, in which we still live. All the animals we're familiar with now appear on December 28. By December 30th, the world of plants becomes what it is now. On the same day, the first anthropoid apes appear. The first representative of the genus Homo is born only on the evening of December 31st. The entire subsequent history of mankind takes up a few hours, minutes, and seconds on our calendar. For example, the Heidelberg Man, who is considered one of our probable ancestors, began to wander the African savanna just an hour before the new year. At 2318, Neanderthals appear a dead-end branch of mankind, having lost the battle for survival to our species, which appeared 18 minutes later, at 2336. Despite the fact that the Neanderthals left Africa earlier and settled in Europe, our ancestors turned out to be more adapted and organized. At 2347, modern humans, called Cro-Magnons, populate the Middle East, and at 2351, they reach Southeast Asia continuing their advance along the islands of the Pacific Ocean towards Australia. It was at this moment that human history as we know it could have been interrupted, practically without having begun. Approximately 10 minutes before the new year, the Toba volcano erupts in what is now known as Indonesia. It was so powerful and intense that it changed the climate across the globe. According to scientists, at that moment, the entire human population on the planet dropped to just 10,000 individuals. But humanity was able to survive and continue its development. At 2353, spoken language appears. At 2354, 
Homo sapiens appear in Europe. Within two minutes, the Neanderthals, displaced into less habitable areas, die out completely or are assimilated by our ancestors. At 2355, a person acquires his first friend and assistant, the domestication of a dog. According to some scientists, this factor could have influenced the victory in the evolutionary race with the Neanderthals. At 2357, people cross the Bering Strait from Asia to North America via a land bridge and begin to populate the New World. At 2358, many animal species are domesticated and the first permanent settlements appear. In fact, the entire history of human civilization fits into the last minute of this conditional year. At the 17th second was the beginning of the Bronze Age. At the 23rd second, the emergence of writing. At the 27th second, the construction of the Cheops Pyramid in Giza. At 37 seconds, people developed iron production. At the 40th second is considered the date of the foundation of Rome. And another second later, the most ancient religious and philosophical movements arise, Buddhism and Confucianism. At 43 seconds, Alexander the Great captures the Middle East and Central Asia, creating his great empire. A couple of seconds later, the power of the Roman Empire is established throughout the Mediterranean. The next second, Christianity arises. At 48 seconds, the Middle Ages begin. At 49, another world religion arises, Islam. 10 seconds before the new year, an ancient Russian state emerges in Eastern Europe. And five seconds later, Columbus discovers America. In the last second of this year, the planet's population increased from 1 to 8 billion people. The Russian Empire and the Soviet Union that replaced it collapsed. Two world wars and man's entry into space occurred, and the internet was invented, thanks to which you can see this video. In this conditional second, many events happened that turned the world upside down and shook humanity. But this year will soon end, and what the future history of our planet will be will be determined by us the people living in the next second of history. It's up to us to now decide whether another global extinction will occur, whether new wars will break out, or new great discoveries will be made, and humanity will continue to spread beyond the borders of one planet. We're grateful to everyone who watched this video all the way to the end. If you're interested in the details of each of the events described in this video, we advise you to check out the previous videos on this channel. They talk about the evolution of different species of living beings, unusual animals, and problems of the relationship between man and nature. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.